Hi there, this is Prof. Johan from the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of Pretoria. Welcome to my series on the Introduction to Chemical Engineering and Chemical Engineering Principles. In this lecture video, I want to talk to you guys about density, and specifically solids and liquids density. Now, what is density? Density is the description of matter in a given volume. So if I have a certain volume, and it contains a certain amount of matter. That density is defined as the total mass in that volume divided by the volume it occupies. In SI units, this is going to be kilograms per cubic meter. In the CGS systems, it's going to be grams per cubic centimeter. And guys, you know you can also change cubic centimeter into liters. And in, in the American system or the imperial system, it is going to be pounds mass over cubic foot. Now, density is related to another quantity, which is called the specific volume, written as V caret. And it is 1 over the density. So it's got units of cubic meters per kilogram. We could also express this as cubic meters per mole. And you know that we can relate the mole to the kilogram with the molecular mass. So these two things are similar. Not the same, similar. They're off with the molecular mass of a unit. So density is the mass per volume, and specific volume is the inverse of density or volume over mass. Now the next part of density I want to talk about is what we call SG or specific gravity. Now SG or specific gravity is the density of something where we relate the density of something to the density of some sort of reference material. Now typically we would if we talk about solids or liquids we would use this reference as the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius which is equals to 1000 kilograms per cubic meter. So here, for instance, want to calculate the SG for mercury. We would calculate the density of mercury. And the density of mercury is approximately 14,800 kilograms per cubic meter. If we want to calculate the SG, we are relating these two densities to each other. We would say that the SG for mercury is 14,8. And you'll see this is dimensionless because same with molecular mass. We have mass over volume divided by mass over volume. I know, strictly speaking, it is mass mercury over mass water and volume mercury over volume water. But because these volumes are the same in, in, for the reference, it is seen as dimensionless. When we talk about gases, this reference is typically air at a given temperature and pressure. You could also have the reference something else. 90% of the time when we're going to refer to SG or when people in industry refer to SG, they refer to based on the reference of water, which is a thousand kilograms per cubic meter. So to recap, SG is the specific gravity, which is the density of our substrate, the density of the stuff, related to the reference density, which would typically be water with a density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Next, I want to talk to you guys about bulk density. Now, bulk density is the same principle as density, except for the fact that we're talking about certain stuff occupying a volume. Now, if I have a container that contains exactly a block of some sort of material, then the density, which is equal to the mass over the volume, would be a certain value. You know as well as I do, if I take that block out, I then do some work to it, and I break it up into little bits and pieces. And I now put this into the same volume. So this volume here is the same as this volume there. When I pack all these things in, I'm going to end up with most of the bits and pieces in the volume, but not all of them. And that's because this volume is now occupied by a certain 
number of this original matter, but because there's air gaps, some of it has not folded. So when we talk about bulk density, this initial mass that was in there, which we broke up to become this mass there, is now not equal to the mass in the container because some mass has not filled the container. So M1 equals M2 plus M3. The volume is still the same. Thus, the bulk density would now be equal to M3 over V1 because it's the same volume container still. But the block, all of it is not in there. So bulk density is when I have a certain number of particles containing its mass occupying a certain volume, but some of that volume is also occupied by air. And thus, not all the original mass is in there. The bulk density will be lower than the typical solids density of the material. I really hope this video has been helpful for you to understand density, SG, and bulk density. Until the next lesson.